to Around Kansas. I'm Michelle Martin, your co-host. Today on our wildlife segment, it is all about spring in Kansas. And if there's one thing I equate with spring in Kansas, it's beautiful scenery like this behind me. This was actually taken on the Red Buffalo Ranch in Chautauqua County outside of Sedan, Kansas. But one thing that I remember about spring in Kansas and I love is, of course, the return of wildlife. And to me, there's no bird that is more quintessentially Kansas than the prairie chicken. We're going to take a look and dip back into the Around Kansas Wildlife Vault and look at prairie chickens. Aerial surveys began a few days ago and continue through mid-May in five states, including Kansas, that contain lesser prairie chicken habitat. The surveys are conducted annually by the Western Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies to document population trends and the species response to management strategies identified in the Lesser Prairie Chicken Rangewide Conservation Plan. This survey is critical to provide annual estimates of the Lesser Prairie Chicken population across five states. Explained Roger Wolf, manager of the program, these population estimates help guide decisions related to conservation efforts targeting lesser prairie chickens and their habitat. The range-wide plan is a collaborative effort of the WAFWA and the Kansas Department of Wildlife, Parks, and Tourism, as well as state wildlife agencies in Texas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Colorado. It was developed to ensure the conservation of the lesser prairie chicken with voluntary cooperation of landowners and industry and allows agricultural producers and industry to continue operations while reducing impacts to the bird and its grassland habitat. The surveys will be conducted by helicopter in locations chosen at random within lesser prairie chicken range. Preliminary results from the 2018 surveys will be available beginning July 1st. Just last fall, the WAFWA finalized permanent conservation agreements with three private landowners to conserve more than 3,500 acres of high-quality lesser prairie chicken habitat in northwest Kansas. These were the first easements obtained in the shortgrass echo region, and the organization applauded the visionary landowners who are protecting and conserving the landscape as working ranches ensuring they will be enjoyed by future generations. These easements will protect habitat that benefits a whole host of wildlife species, including the lesser prairie chicken. This is another positive step toward establishing a stronghold for lesser prairie chickens in this area. The complex of properties is located near Smoky Valley Ranch in Logan County, which is owned and managed by the Nature Conservancy. The nearly 18,000-acre ranch is identified in the range-wide plan as a potential target around which a stronghold for lesser prairie chickens could be established. A stronghold is defined as a block of fairly contiguous grassland consisting of at least 25,000 acres that contains at least six mating areas for the birds. There must also be assurances that all the properties contributing to a stronghold will be protected from future development and managed in a way that is beneficial to lesser prairie chickens into the future. With additional easements, Smoky Valley Ranch and nearby permanently conserved properties could become a stronghold for the species. Hundred years of stories take more than a year to share. The Santa Fe Trail Bicentennial continues through 2025. Join us on this epic journey of exploration on America's most historic road. Find our podcast each week on truckersradiousa.com. Find us on Facebook. Find us at santafetrail.org. The Santa Fe Trail lives on. Howdy, I'm Seth Hayes, and welcome to my hometown from then to now. Council Grove has a rich history, as deep as the prairie tall grass. Spend the day visiting 25 historic sites, or explore the unique shops and restaurants, or mosey out of town along the Santa Fe Trail. Y'all visit my hometown, Council Grove.
in the heart of the Flint Hills.